All right, so now we'll be kind of describing how to do a wardrobe box. Um, one of the things about wardrobe boxes is that they're so tall, we like to take advantage of the bottom part of the box. So whatever item you're, bringing, you're going to be hanging, we will get that and think about the height of that, what that's going to be inside the box. And whatever gap that we have on the bottom, like say for instance we're hanging shirts, we know we're going to have about this much left in the box. We want to fill that area. So kind of explaining that, because I'll have this piece right here. And so now I'll get the paper. Make sure it's fully protected. And set it with the exposed part towards the outside of the box. If it's going to be something like vases or something like that in there, Make sure that you write fragile vases at bottom of box on the actual carton itself. And some people will get fluff, like get a bunch of that paper and just do this. So at the bottom it has a little bit of give point in the bottom of the box. So let's say that we filled the whole bottom up already. Then when you buy these boxes, it'll say what size it is. This one's a 24 inch. Make sure that the bar says 24 on the front. So now that we know that the bar size and the box size match, we can begin to assemble this box. So now I'm going to fold these flaps down. And usually, you want these pieces of cardboard to come in and down. It builds a support for the bar and the weight that's going to be applied to it. So now that we have the bar, we grab the clothes and just scoop them in and hang them like so. So whenever you make one of these boxes, we're trying to think about items like if you have like a wedding dress or something that cannot be smashed or you know crushed, wrinkled, we'll actually put it in this box to keep it from getting crushed. Um, a lot of times people will use floral, uh, like little decorative pieces like sticks that go into vases, stuff like that, umbrellas, and we'll put them in the box itself to keep things from getting crushed. Um, you can do big, huge vases. We've had customers do katinas, you know, the things that, that go in the backyard because they're so huge and we'll wrap them that way and double stack one of these boxes. Usually you can get a 3 point or a 4.5 box and put it on top of this to cap it if it's too tall and you have to seal it like this. We can cap it with another box on top. 